Um, I uh, one of the other things that uh, I found pretty neat uh, about tumors um, is actually something that is not unexpected in itself, but uh, is is very neat. And I found it in in, in um, this review paper um, uh, that you can see here, and. Um, what it basically says is that um, the origin of metastasis in uh, most tumors or in a very large number of tumors is not from the primary tumor but rather from a another metastatic site the so-called um, primary metastatic site which later sort of gives its cancer cells to the other sites so let's give an example if there is a melanoma um, it usually goes to the lung first and then it might go to other organs all right so how would you know whether the melanoma that uh, moved to the lungs and then moved to say the liver how would you know whether the metastasis in the liver originated from the primary tumor or from the metastatic uh, niches that are already uh, present in the lung and to find that out they did a pretty neat experiment um, that I would just like to share with you and the experiment says the following you take a rat and uh, you inject it with melanoma cells and what happens next is of course as you expect after about a month or so is that the rat gets a tumor all right that's very very expected uh, but what I find really really neat is what you can see here is uh, sorry for that after you resect the primary tumor of course you would wait on the primary tumor to undergo metastasis and after you resect the primary tumor um, um, the metastasis is still there of course and um, you can wait for ages for metastasis to occur for example in the liver and that of course would prove that it originated from this metastasis and not the primary tumor because we've already removed it but the neat thing is that they did something even cooler now hold your breath um, they actually connected the mouse to another mouse um, in a conjoint twin fashion and what happens of course is that you have this mouse which from which the primary tumor has already been removed and there is a secondary tumor over there all right in the lung now if metastasis itself didn't metastasize then you wouldn't expect anything happening to this mouse to, to the other normal mouse because they're sharing the same circulation and these ones are supposedly um, you know happy and alive in the lung um, but what you see is after you move the two mice and you wait for a while you actually get metastasis in the other mouse's lung now why would a tumor prefer to go to the lung first well the simple answer is the microenvironment the so-called microenvironment is better it's got a better blood supply it's got a very very rich vascular tree over there and this makes the lung a very good site for any tumor to go and settle there for a while and then you know as it wants it moves to the other areas respectively even to other areas within the lung and this is a very neat way to prove it um, by connecting mice in a conjoined twin sort of fashion you know I just found it really interesting um, thank you for listening